generic code, 420. And the, <laughs> the one CEA is a, also permanent. That was, come on, come on, come on, come on. And 0498 is permanent at the EVAP system vent valve control circuit slow. And then the last one, engine cooling temperature sensor circuits high. That might be because of that head gasket, right? Yeah, because I mean the temp sensor, everything is plugged in correctly. Yeah. Alright, so there's a slew of parts here. I got a head, a cam, a turbo, a turbo manifold. And the reason why I did that, because that one I know doesn't have any oil. So we're going to start off underneath here, draining the oil. Firstly, after that. I'm gonna get you guys up there and we're just gonna disassemble every single little tiny thing up top and then uh, get this front end ripped off get all the fluids drained and yeah when all that is done I will catch up with you guys all right so something that I did notice upon the bottom obviously it was that the oil was a little bit milky so this was a whole entire job done but obviously uh, oil being milky means one thing bad head gasket so my favorite part of the day guys Get this. The entire teardown of this engine. Just uh, scroll through the channel. You know, I have a whole entire teardown of me and Happy. We ripped everything apart. And um, yeah, so that's what we did. So I'll definitely go through the channel, guys. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys when I get all this apart. And we're going to take the head off together so that we can see that I had mistakenly put the gasket on wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. I'm, I'm a thousand percent positive. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. Let me set you guys down here. Sure, sure, sure. So we finally have gotten down to the culprit, which is our lovely head. And you guys are gonna get the first reveal of um, what in the heck is going on. What in cousin retardation? So, really quick, guys, while this is happening, I did undo all the bolts from everything, obviously. So everything's. Should be loose. Um, something else I want to address. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start a mobile mechanic business, especially around my neighborhood, because I had now three people, maybe even four. I, honestly, I keep forgetting. But I had a lot of people come up to me 
and uh, you know they were asking me oh do you fix cars do you fix cars so one neighbor came to me with the BMW had some evap issues he wanted me to look at it that was one and then I had another neighbor came with me with another car I forget which one but car caught fire he wanted me to switch the wires around for that one as I do that's a whole ECU that's a lot of money to do a, a whole entire wiring swap like that then I had a neighbor right now and she came up to me and she was like yeah we have a crossfire you know it needs trouble starting and everything so I'm like okay you know let me get done with my crap first and I can come over there and look at it for you you know her and her brother had a guy come out and you know they looked at it they don't know what the hell they're looking at relatively at the end of the day all engines are the same but let's go ahead and take this off and see what I did wrong or not what is stopping it one two three okay so I'll tell you right now the gasket's already coming off I need to be careful because last time I did this I had broken some wires in the back. Vroom vroom from the back. Yeah. And my hands are all full of the slimy oil. So I can't get a grip on that. That one is pulled off. I believe this one is okay to yank out from the back of my evap canister. And then this one right here. All right. Okay, let's see it together, guys. My gasket's on incorrectly or correctly, and if there's just some other mystery issue wrong with this car, or not. What about this long doohickey here? All right. And a one, and a two, and a three. Sheesh. Okay, gaskets on the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. So it was on like this. And that seems to be freaking bloody accurate. So that's that's very disappointing. I just really think I put the gasket on wrong. And I didn't. I freaking didn't. There's a leak right here, leak right here, leak right here for the coolant to go through and through. And I didn't even put this on wrong, so wow. I just wasted 150 bucks. Show! Not good, I don't know. Okay. Maybe I did put it on wrong, but I put it on backwards. I think that's what's going on. Nah. Because this side has to be. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay. Now I don't know what to do.